Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jarelle Mata. Today we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial and it's going to be using the new eyeshadow palette from ColourPop in collaboration with I Love Sarai. This is the eyeshadow palette right here and this is the box that it came in. It is called Through My Eyes. I also got the three lippies that we're going to be testing. So yeah, super excited um, to get this on my eyes and see what we can create i love the makeup by shayla collaboration that they did the perception palette Oof, that palette is so good and i did create a couple of looks using that palette so if you are interested in seeing those looks i will link one of them up here and some of them down below or at the end of the video just in case but yeah let's go ahead and get started but before we get into the video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already you can also click on the little bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video which is every single week and without further ado let's get on to the video <laughs> okay so yes I am wearing my daughter's headband yes I am you know what and I think it looks cute I don't care how old I am it doesn't matter because it's going to come out at the end of the day this is just for the video and to get the hair out of my face I just got out of the shower I did wash my hair last night I went to the gym and I got in the shower of course after the gym and I still feel like my hair is like not fully dry it's a combination of water and sweat Ugh. <laughs> but yeah so I'm just letting it air dry and see if I can get it to look presentable by the end of the video but we will see all right the first thing that I want to do is prep my face because like I said I just got out of the shower and I have not put anything on my face at all so I'm going to start with this belief and this is the aqua bond mist I put a lot of it because I feel so dehydrated right now. Like my skin feels dehydrated. I don't know why. Or just that like that tightness. And it's because I got out of the shower and did I did not put anything. I'm drinking some water. Alright, so the next thing that I'm going to do is add this serum to my face. And I use it for night and daytime. It is pretty pricey. I got it on my boxy charm. Um, it's lasted me very very long time so I'm happy about that this is the juice beauty stem cellular anti-wrinkle booster serum and I just do a pump and it spreads really nicely so I'm not putting a lot of pressure on my skin just in case you're wondering my skin is not dry by any means it is combination so just in case you're new to my channel welcome i have an oily t-zone and i but i still like to prep my skin that's very important to me for my skincare routine daytime and nighttime so anyway next thing that i'm going to add is this I believe and this one is the true cream aqua balm which is super super nice i'm almost out of it again this is my Second one, and I do use this quite a lot. It's also really good for daytime, especially if you're going to wear makeup because it's not heavy at all, but it still gives you that moisture to your skin. And yeah, it's beautiful, I love it. And the last thing for my skincare is this right here. Just add a little bit of this to my lips. And I love, love this. <gasps> this is so good. I love the way it smells. I love the way it feels. Oh, and just in case <laughs> you're wondering, this one is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, but I use it at nighttime and during the daytime, so yeah. So I'm going to do my brows off camera and then I'll come back with my eyes already primed and I'm going to be using my MAC soft ochre paint pot uh, to prime my eyes and then I'm gonna bring you in a little closer so we can start with the eye tutorial so yeah let's go okay here I am again I told you everything that I was going to do and I did it so here is uh, the palette which I think is super super nice um, I like the color here's the mirror that you get uh, let me take this little thing out ah, staticky 
And these are the shades, just in case you haven't seen them. This is so beautiful. What a beautiful, beautiful palette. Just by looking at the palette, you can create a really natural, wearable look. Um, but you can also get creative. So that is what we're going to be doing today, as per usual. We're going to get creative with this palette. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get on it. The first thing that I'm going to do, the first shade that's like jumping at me, is that yellow one. This one is called Wild Soul. And I'm going to add that on the brush and just start working it on my crease. And I'm going to make this shade my transition shade. Okay, and I also apply the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot on my lid and I did not set it, so it's still very tacky. Um, so you might want to like stamp the color first and then blend it. Oh, I forgot that this is the brush that I don't like because it's a little pokey. All right, let's continue. So just blend it from your outer corner to the inner corner, all the way inside here. I love this technique. I love eyeshadow in this part of my eye. I think it looks really nice. Buffing it and blending it up. So these colors have the names of the eyeshadows on the back and as well as on the front, which is really good. And I do like that the fact that it does have a mirror. I think it's very, very helpful. So this yellow is really nice. It's very muted though. It's not like a bright yellow. So Okay, with a Sigma E25 brush, I'm going to take this pink right here. And that one is called Lomo. And it's more like a satin shade. It's definitely, it doesn't have any shimmer, but it's not a true matte. It's really nice and satiny. So we're going to add that. Ooh, that's pigmented. Yes. All right, just add it on your outer corner. And working it on your crease a little bit. I hope it doesn't stain my eyes. Going back with Wild Soul and just buffing the edges. Okay, now with a clean blending brush, I'm going to take Misbehave, which is the shade right here. I'm going to place that in the outer corner, really working it on that outer corner and on the crease. All right, now to deepen it up just a little bit more, we're going to take this shade right here, and this one is called Divina, and just really focusing that on the outer corner. You want to go back to the second blending brush and just taking a little bit more of Lomo one more time and just blending those together, making sure there is just seamless. So just going back with Divina and Lomo. So I'm not going to cut my crease. You can definitely cut your crease if you feel comfortable with uh, doing that. However, I don't want to do that at all. I want all the eyeshadows to like kind of blend seamless uh, together. And I'm going to be taking Flex, which is this shade right here. And I am going to use the MAC 242 brush. And I'm going to add this shade all over my eyelid. So just stopping halfway where it meets with the other shade. And I'm going to bring it a little bit high up. Like if I am cutting my crease with the same eyeshadow. So 
So this shade does have fallout. It's a little bit more chunky, just so you know. So you might want to do your eyes before you do your base for sure. And I'm not using it wet or anything. This is just dry. So let's go ahead and wet it to see what happens. All right, so I'm going to wet the same shade Flex and see if it intensifies the color. I'm packing it on my 242 brush and just using some Fix Plus to wet the brush. Not a huge difference less fallout but not a huge difference all right so I'm going to take the Divina shade one more time and I'm just going to deepen it up in the outer corners and going back with wild salt just so we can really bring that yellow back Okay, so what I'm going to do, just because I feel like it's missing something between these two shades, so I'm going to add this shade right here. So I already cleaned up, and I'm just going to add it towards the outer part, like where the two shades meet. Oh, this is super pigmented. What? Look at that. And then just add it. I'm just going to wiggle it side by side so I can blend with the matte shade as well as the grayish shade. So taking flex again and just moving it around so they can blend together. And just grabbing Divina one more time, very gently. Okay, so the lashes are done. I have blush and bronzer, foundation, everything on except highlighter and lipstick. So we're going to do that together. Um, so let's go ahead and finish up with the eyes. These lashes are so beautiful though. These ones are the House of Lashes Spellbound love these lashes for sure so we're going to tight line um and we're going to be using the color pop oh yeah hey that's awesome all right so we're going to be using the color pop and this one is in the shade mr bing and we're going to add this on our waterline taking this little small brush and divina just to really smoke it out and it's going to be from the outer corner all the way to the inner corner. I will link all the products that I've used for my face just in case you are interested. It will be down below. All right, so I'm adding a little bit of Wild Salt, which is the yellow one, and the very, very, very bottom of it, just so we can kind of tie the look together. And I did all of that using one blending brush. <laughs> yep, I did. All right, now using this little angle blending brush, I got all these brushes on my BoxyCharm. They're just so good. I love them so very much. I'm going to highlight my inner corner. Let's take Lucido and see what happens. All right, just adding just final touches, which is my mascara on my lower lashes. I'm going to set with my Urban Decay All Nighter. I already purchased the new bottle. Can you believe that these I bought two and they lasted me two years.
I mean, because I use other sprays as well. But this one is done. It's done. I finished it. Ah, how exciting is that? All right, the highlighter that I'm going to be using is the Skinny Dip by Jouer. She looks like this. It's going to go well because it's almost the same color as the inner corner highlight that we have going on. Look how pretty that is. It just melts into your skin so nicely. This collaboration also brings three lipsticks. So I am going to be trying all of these three for you just so you can have an idea. Uh, let's start with the easiest one, which is the Ultra Lip Gloss. And the other two are Ultra Lip Matte. Um, so let's try with the lip gloss just by itself. I, don't, I do not like the applicator at all. I just don't like the little brush. So this is in the shade Glass Lip. It's pretty, not by itself. I don't think I will wear this by itself for sure. I think it's like, it looks better like as a topper. Um, doesn't feel, does feel like it does have some grittiness to it because it does have a lot in glass of glitter, but it's okay. Um, the color is more like a bronzy, orangey shade, and that is the shade right here. So it does have like a orange tint to it. Okay, so let's try the darker shade. This one is Dulcet, um, and let me swatch it on my on my hand first, so you guys can see it. And that is Dulcet. This one is an ultra matte lip. It has like a berry tone. It looks really similar to what I have on my crease. Okay, so this is Dulcet. Okay, so do you want me to try the lip gloss? On top of it? Yes? Okay. I'll do that. Okay, so this is the lip gloss on top of Dulcet. Okay, so the last shade on the trio is this one, which is Dulce de Coco. Lip gloss on top. It does feel very drying. That's why I don't like the Ultra Matte from ColourPop. Mm -hmm. But um, let's go ahead and add some lip gloss on top. That feels like a thousand times better. Oh my gosh, so much better. So yeah, that's it for the look, that's it for the tutorial. I hope that this was helpful to you, especially if you picked up the eyeshadow palette and you just needed some more inspiration to create more looks using this palette. The quality is so beautiful on this palette. This palette is really, really, really nice. I have zero complaint on any of the eyeshadows that I use today. They blend it so nicely on the eyes. Yeah, you do need to build up the colors, especially the first one that I use. You need to build up the colors little by little. That is the best way to do it really. And just, you know, blend, blend, blend. It's always a lot of blending, but how they blend it 
to each other really nice they are not muddy you can still see the definition of every single color that i applied today which is really really nice so i do like this palette a lot i didn't think i was gonna like it this much but it is super nice i love that shade believe it or not the flex it is so nice and something you know different than my warm or really colorful on the eyes kind of shade so yeah i really like this look the way that it came out for sure but let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about the look do you want me to create more looks using this palette you want me to stay more on the neutral side you want me to create like an everyday kind of look uh, that you can wear to work let me know in the comment section down below you know i love seeing your comments that just continue on motivating me doing what i love which is here creating looks and just playing with makeup i love it so yeah that's it thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and i will see you next time. Bye.